Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the reducing balance method of depreciation. So the reducing balance method is one of the main types of depreciation and we use it when we want to depreciate an asset that loses more money in its early years than in its later years. So that's the key difference between the reducing balance method and other methods of depreciation. So what type of assets lose more value in the early years than the later years? Well, any asset that has any type of machinery. For example, in this example, we're using a car. When you buy a car, it's going to lose the majority of its value or it's going to have the majority of its depreciation expense occurring in the first few years you own it. And the longer you own it, it's still going to be losing value, but it won't be losing as much value each year you own it. So for this example I'm going to show you how to depreciate this car using the reducing balance method over three years. So our car cost price is 22000 and the rate of depreciation is 45 percent per annum. So I made a little table here to help you understand this. I have the year, the depreciation expense, the accumulated depreciation and the current value. So we do this year by year. So basically the reducing balance method is different from other methods such as straight line depreciation as the same amount of depreciation isn't occurring each year. 45% is being depreciated but since the current value changes each year, each year that depreciation will be different. So let's do this for the years 2022, 2023, and 2024. If we bought the car in 2022, it's worth 22000 So the depreciation expense for that year, we're going to find by taking that value, its current value of 22000 and multiplying it by its rate of depreciation. So 45%. But we don't put 45%, we put 0 0.45. So if you grab your calculator, 22000 times 0.45 and that's going to give you 9,900. So the depreciation expense for 2022 is 9,900. That means the accumulated depreciation so far is 9,900 because this is the only year we've depreciated it so far. So now we can find our current value at the end of 2022. What's the value after this depreciation? So we find that by taking our original cost, which is 22000 and subtracting our accumulated depreciation, which is 9900 If we grab our calculator, we can type that in. And that's going to give us $12,100 as its current value at the end of 2022. So we move on to our next year and repeat that same process. So 2023. The difference is instead of using our original value, you always use the current value. So we take 12,100 this time and multiply it by our rate. So 12,100 times our rate of 0.45, grab your calculator, type it in, and that gives us our depreciation expense for this year to be $5,445. So as you can see, it's smaller than the first year, and that's how this reducing balance method works. Each year the depreciation amount decreases as we want to report more depreciation expense in earlier years than later years as like I said for assets that lose value more in earlier years than later years we want to accurately represent that and we do that by using the reducing balance method. So now onto our accumulated depreciation. So this is just the total of all the depreciation that has occurred in our assets so far, so in our car. So we do this by adding the depreciation expense from each year, so that is 9,900 plus 5,445, and that gives us an accumulated depreciation of 15,345. Then to get your current value, you take your original value minus your accumulated depreciation, so if we type that into our calculator, we get 6,655 as our current value or what the asset is worth at the end of 2023. So let's move on to the final year I'm going to show, 2024. So remember take your current value, not the original. So the current value for 2024 at the start is 6,655 
we multiply that by our rate which is 0.45 type that in your calculator and this time we're starting to deal with decimals that's okay you can deal with decimals but you may have to round it if it gets more than two decimal places but for this case it has not gotten more than two so that gives us 2,994.75 and the reason it's usually two decimal places is just because it's to the nearest cent so anyway let's get our accumulated depreciation so we can take the total that we worked out in our last year and just add the depreciation expense from this year so 15,345 plus 2,994.75 if we type that into our calculator that's going to give us our total accumulated depreciation over the three years to be 18,339.75 so the last thing to do is work out our current value or what the car is worth after these three years and I'm running out of space here but basically again it's the original value of the car which was 22,000 minus your accumulated depreciation which is 18,339.75 and that gives our current value of the car after the three years to be 3,660.25 and that's how you do the reducing balance method of depreciation so as you can see each year we had a smaller depreciation expense and that's the goal of the reducing balance method because we're trying to mimic the real life depreciation of our assets so in this case our car which will lose more money in its early years than its later years so if we show that on the graph it will look something like this so the graph is a curve like this where in the early years is where the most of the depreciation occurs and as the time goes on it becomes less and less Anyway, I hope you found this video on how to use the reducing balance method of depreciation helpful. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.